Good morning guys, welcome back to another video. As you guys can tell, we're back in Melbourne. Um, today's agenda, we are going to be building the Melbourne pop-up. It's gonna be a really, really long day. I can tell already because we want to get this done within uh, at least two days so we can dry, set up and stuff like that. And then we need to bump in at Friday at 9 p.m., 9.30 p.m. and set it all up. So it's gonna be a really, really long vlog or either really short cut down vlog and you guys will just see us work as hard as we can. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to go ham on that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed. Hit that bell button because it notifies you every single time we release brand new videos. And guys, can you guys just do me one favor? Literally a lot of you guys are watching this and are not subscribed and if you guys are subscribed share this with your friends Be sure that they are subscribed to our channel because we want to grow this channel as fast as possible as well By the end of the year our goal is uh, I think 40,000 or 50,000 subscribers So if you guys can help us get to that, I really really appreciate that. I'm gonna go straight to Bunnings Let's get this Back at good old trusty Bunnings no snags today. All right, let's roll through, grab whatever we need. Always use this lift because I can't be bothered walking. These are the three cars that I'm working with, the orange, the blue, or the purple. What do you guys reckon I'm gonna choose? But I I think we tried to go the orange last time and, and they couldn't make it for us. So it's gonna be out of one of these two colors. I really wanted it to be a nice pastel color though. Ended up getting the paint already, but I can't tell you guys which paint I got because look how many samples of pastel colors that I got. So it's one of these colors here. It's gonna be a surprise for you guys. Bought everything here, so I bought a hand saw. Um, some rollers, cause Philly's like, don't forget the rollers. And then I also bought a set of drills, because I'm gonna show you how, guys how I'm gonna drill this in. Uh, I needed just a 13 mil drill bit, but this was so much, so much cheaper. Good English, bro. But yeah, that, and this dual piece. But I put this in last. And Zach's down there putting in the doors. Picked up everything and you guys can see in the back it's fully like jammed to the core and I am driving so close that my knees are literally touching everything. Like my pelvis area is right, look, look, this is, now I really, really feel like an Asian driver. This is me definitely in like 20 years being an old grandpa driving a van. This is insane. All right, time to go back to the warehouse and then literally uh, paint everything, get everything done. I'm trying to gonna smash this out in probably two hours and hope that I don't have to make another Bunnings trip. Don't vlog and drive. Just finished doing the second coat of these ones and the first coat of all these doors. But what we had to do was build a little fence because Biggie actually put his paw right here. Last time when we were painting them white, he actually kept stepping on them and walking all over and we had white footprints in our old warehouse. So I'm hoping that this gate holds up, but I reckon he's gonna be smart enough to jump over here or go under that table right there. We'll see. I have to admit, this is, I have to admit, this is the one of the worst thing I possibly have to do is make these dowels that go into these doors so there's no more uh, frames because we need to use uh, hinges or whatever, like like just brackets on top of here. And we just didn't like the looks. So we wanted a more cleaner look. So what I've been doing is I've tested so many. Look, there's one hole there that I fucked up. Another hole there I fucked up. Like there's three more and like a whole heap on this side. But uh, me and Philly have finally figured it out. We're doing what are we doing, babe? We're drilling holes and cutting dowels and sawing stuff. But uh, so this side here is a 12 mil so this fits in like it's not going anywhere and then on this side is 12.5 mil so it has wiggle room so you can just slide it out but it still fits really tight so we didn't want to drill this hole too big so it doesn't have any support but this is perfect and it works so we're going to try to build everything by the end of tonight what i realized with the door if you drill it too much it just keeps going so this dowel if it's too like big of a hole it can just like fully just keep going through. That was like the main problem we've had like the last two hours. Yeah, so like what Philly was saying is this literally just falls right through, like through, cause like indoors, like so these are just doors. The wood is only about this thick. And if I drill too far through and try to hammer this into here, this thing will just go right through, which is really annoying. Whilst the paint is drying, I'm gonna dip this. I just wanna see how it looks. Let's go. Mm. 
Wow, that's a perfect line. Now it just needs to dry. It's gotta let it. Come here, Biggie. Come here. Let me see what happened. What? What, mister? So you guys know I did the fence. It failed. Because he was too smart and he went under the table. And look at this. His bloody paw prints are on the floor now. So I have to wipe it. And how's wiping his paws now? Drill that hole, change your drill to a bigger drill. Drill this one out. So it's just through this door and then smash it down in and then Bob's your uncle. Alright guys, um, it's like 3 a.m. in the morning, but I am still working on the pop-up. As you guys can see, I made a straight tape going that way and up that way, so I can align all the logos correctly. It's, I just really want to get this done out of the way. It's starting to look really, really good. Trust me guys, this kind of looks like our sneaker bash um, pop-up setup, but this time it's going to be completely different. We've got some new ideas. We're going to put the cage up top, paint that cage white, hang items down, maybe just do one rack in the middle like that, and everything will be hanging like, like from the cages up and then down, and it will give this really, really cool effect. But I'm going to try to finish this up. so it doesn't make any marks on this we want to build a clear coat on this because last time when we painted the ground this ground got scuffed up so bad and I don't think this ground's gonna last two days so this looks really good what I'm gonna do is do the whole ground and the walls this might take me a while so uh, good luck to me I am just making a quick pit stop to Officeworks because I need to go get some more contact paper as we have ran out. I'm going to just buy a crap load of it. And I've also got to go to Super Cheap Auto because we're going to be spray painting something as well, which I'll show you guys when we get back to the warehouse. Good thing about coming to Officeworks is they've got this contact paper here, which is 15 meters long because usually the one we get from Kmart is only 2 meters, but this one works out a little bit cheaper, which is great. This is the spray paint we're going for. I'm gonna get, I think, four cans. I reckon we'll need three, but I'm just gonna get the extra one just because I wanna have to come back later on. Got the spray paint. This is what I was telling you about earlier, and this is what we are spray painting. So we used these fencings a while back for one of our pop-ups, but it was black. Now we're gonna turn it into white so we can somehow put it on top of these doors and have stuff hanging down. But it seems like it's going to be a little bit of a process because I've already done a couple of layers and you can still see the black going through. So I think lucky I got those two extra cans. I have now just come to Bunnings because I realized we need to get some chains for our display. So with that white thing that I was painting, we're going to be actually hanging some clothes and displaying it off that. And these are all the chains that Bunnings have, but what we want is a white one, but we want it to be like a nice thick and heavy chain. Like even this one is pretty thin. I reckon this one feels pretty nice. And they've got a white chain here. This is the one I'm thinking of getting, but it's $9 and it's only 2.5 meters. And I think we need like 10 meters or so, but they also have this big plastic chain which is 25 meters and it's 36 dollars i mean it's still expensive but this plastic it just feels so cheap and i don't think it's going to hold it very well like you can just see that it doesn't look as nice as this one right here so i think i'm going to grab this but now i've got to go grab some pliers because i don't know how we're going to cut it i'm getting four of these chains they were about ten dollars each and then the thing that 
I have to cut them. I actually asked someone from Bunnings and he referred me and got me these. I thought I was going to get a pair of pliers and that's what he would said. But he actually suggested some bob cutters. These were only like $12 as well. So supposedly these are going to cut a lot easier than a pair of pliers. Fingers crossed we have no issues with this at all. Wow. <laughs> Right now. It's gonna go in your eye? No. Probably not. Cutting someone's finger off with that. Oh, oh. Oh. You want to try it then? Oh my god! You. Go, get unloose, get unloose, get unloose, get unloose. You nearly cut my finger off. You, you weren't even looking. Stop, <laughs> just stop. Stop, just chill. <laughs> stop. I put it in. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I would have closed my eyes to make it <laughs> just in case. I don't know if I that well. I don't eat that case up. No, for real. Okay. Um, <laughs> come on. I fuck it. Who cares though? I just. Ay! Stop. <laughs> I need your help. I don't want to do this. Ah! <laughs> yeah, I'll hold it for you. <laughs> if you don't want to do it, I'll do it. Okay, go, go, go. You fucked it already, babe. Now this one's gonna be. <laughs> That's not the one. It's still uneven. That one's uneven. It is pretty much dark outside right now, but we're about to do a top coat. It low key looks like can all. Oh. oh, dude, this That's like weird and <laughs> has chunks in it. But hopefully this is gonna protect the floor, so when people step on it, it doesn't leave footprint marks, which is good. We also did the side of this as well. We have to do the side of the other one. And these are nearly done. I reckon I'll have to look at it tomorrow well, just to chunks. double check. But the one yeah. over here is all good. There's a chunk of Oh, look at that right there. No, <laughs> look. Hello. Can you explain uh, what we've done. been doing? We're done. We're pretty much done. We finished uh, coating the ground. The ground's nice. And like, you can't even, look. you guys bend down like, you can't even tell that there's a sticker on it. Like it's like it's so, so much flush. clear. It's so flush. It literally looks like a one piece floor. And this is the floor how it came. And then you can look on the right hand side. You guys can see your left hand side. You can see it's getting there. It looks really good. Yeah, it looks a lot better in person, honestly. And I think we're maybe going to put some neon signs up. This side is going to be the same as that side. And then we're also going to have another white fence in the middle to display our accessories. So I've got to plant another one of those tomorrow. It's, it's coming along. It's coming along. I hope people don't think that we did this by accident. This is on purpose. It's meant to be upside down. Yeah, it's supposed to be upside down. <laughs> but if you come over here, just need to show me uh, my little baby. baby. Because he being a little cutie in his little pram. Yeah? Little cutie boy. Oh, little cutie boy. 